Welcome sa sipnayan.com In the previous videos ay napag-usapan natin kung paano ba mag-convert ng fraction to percent. No? So dito, this is the, I think this is the seventh video. It's a series natin and uh, we have to, uh, here we will learn how to convert uh, percent to fraction. No? Uh, kung alala niyo sa mga previous videos, hindi ko lang matandaan kung sa, kung sa six or sa five, no? sa fifth video nitong series na to na sinabi ko sa inyo na pag sinabi mong uh, 25 over 100 you ibig sabihin niyan 25% no so uh, pag sinabi mo yung percent no percent that means per ang cent dito is centum centum is a latin word which means 100 no ibig sabihin kung may 25% ka pwede mo siyang gawing 25 over 100 so, fraction na siya, di ba? And pag fraction na, syempre, i, ano natin, ilo-lowest terms natin. So, 25, uh, paano natin yan ilo-lowest terms? It's 25 over 100. So, we divide this by 25, we divide this by 25. This becomes 1 fourth, di ba? 1 fourth. Okay? Now, second, I think, alam nyo na yun, no? Ibig sabihin, uh, lahat ng may percent, i-divide lang natin sa 100. Gawin natin fraction na ang denominator ay 100. So, pag sinabi mo 35%, this is 35 over 100. And then, again, we, uh, we, uh, reduce to lowest terms. We divide by 5. No? I think uh, 5 is the greatest common factor no? ng 35 and uh, 100 is 5 so 35 divided by 5 is 7 and then 100 divided by 5 is 20 okay next 40 percent 40 percent is 40 over 100 Magiging, ano pwede natin i-divide? 20, di ba? Pwede by 20. So, divide by 20 para maging lowest term siya. That's um, 2 over 5. 2 fifth. Okay. What about ito? 12.5%. Ganun pa rin. 12.5 over 100 pa rin. Palagi 100 din, no? And since meron tayong decimal dito, sabi natin, pag meron tayong fraction, tapos may decimal sa, sa taas or sa baba, dapat tanggalin natin yung decimal para mas madali. You know? So, para matanggal yan, magda times 10 tayo, di ba? Times 10, times 10. So, this becomes 125 over uh, one, 1,000, no? Kasi 100 times 10, 1,000. And then, we can reduce this to lowest terms. Ano ang 125 over 1,000? Ano ang ating divisor? Pinaka-greatest common divisor. Pwede 125, di ba? So, pag dinibay natin ito ng 125, pag dinibay natin ito ng 125, ano mangyayari? Ilang, one point, eh, ilang 125 sa 1,000? Pag dalawa, 250, di ba? Tapos, ilang 250 sa 1,000? Apat. Ibig sabihin, walo siya, di ba? So, pagiging 1, 8. Okay, and lastly, we have 165, 165 over 100, I think a is 5, so 165 divided by 5, that's 3, 15, that's 33 over Then if I could buy 5 to ah, so 33, I have 33. Ah, tama ba? 3 times uh, 16 divided by 5 is 3 times 5 is 15. And then this is 15. And 3 times 5 is 15. This is 0. Okay. So 33 over 20. Or... Pwede pa natin ito i-mix form kung gusto nyo. Gusto nyo mix fraction. 
So 33 over 20, paano kami nag-mixed fraction, nilidivide natin, and then we get the quotient, 1 times 20 is 20. When we subtract, we have 13. So mangyari yung quotient natin, yun na magiging whole number natin. Yung uh, pinaka-remainder dito, ay yung ating uh, numerator, at yung ating pinaka-divisor is the denominator. So 33 over 20 or 1 and 3 over 20. May mga teachers na okay na sa kanila to, no? May mga teachers na nare-require na maging mixed fraction siya. So, talang nyo sa teacher nyo kung ano yung mas gusto nilang sagot. Okay, so I think that's our short video. I, I hope meron kayong tutunan dito sa ating series. And of course, gusto ko kayong invite sa sipnayan.com, no? Mag-comment kayo kung gusto nyo, no? And of course, pwede nyo i-thumbs up yung video natin sa YouTube, no? Para mas marami makakita. And... Again, pwede kayong mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.